If you've heard of mutual funds, you must have heard of the term NAV. Let us take a moment to understand what this word NAV refers to. Simply put, NAV or net asset value is the price of one unit of a mutual fund product. An investor can buy and sell a unit of the mutual fund product at this price. The NAV of a mutual fund product is calculated at the end of each day and its major determinant is the value of all the underlying securities that form part of the portfolio. To calculate the NAV, we first need to consider the closing value of all the securities that the product portfolio holds. From this total value, we deduct the expenses that the product incurs as well as its liabilities. The resultant value is then divided by the number of units of that mutual fund product. This gives us the NAV of one unit of the product. The market regulator, Securities and Exchange Board of India or SEBI stipulates this formula as the standard method to calculate NAVs. In fact, every day, all fund houses are required to disclose the NAV of all the mutual fund products on their website and also on the website of the Association of Mutual Funds in India or AMFI. So, if you were looking to invest Rs 5000 in a mutual fund product with a NAV of Rs 20, you will effectively end up buying 250 units of that product. Now, which of these products do you think is better? One with a NAV of Rs 10 or another one with a NAV of Rs 100? This question in different forms and with varying figures often stumps young investors who are attracted to new fund offers or newly launched mutual fund products. The answer is that you cannot simply compare the performance of two products only based on NAV because a product's NAV is merely a static pricing mechanism. A product with a higher NAV may in fact give you lesser returns than another product with a lower NAV or maybe the other way around. You'll need more information to make an informed decision. While the current NAV by itself is not an indicator of the performance of the fund, a look at how the NAV has changed over time will tell you how your investment has performed. Don't forget to compare the NAV movement in a fund with the movement of the benchmark index and also with the average returns of other funds in the category over similar time periods. This comparison will give you a more comprehensive idea about the fund's performance. So, the next time you hear about mutual funds and their NAVs, you'll remember not to judge the book just by its cover. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.